Hello, my name's Dr. James Gill at Warwick Medical School, and I'd like to highlight to you one of the tools that we're currently uh, evaluating. It's still uh, experimental at this stage, but it's called Black Frame AI. And the focus behind this is a way to get live feedback on your results, both in terms of the patter, the um, descriptions, the verbal that you do during your consultation with the patient, but also get feedback from um, the examination that you do. Now, when you're at medical school, obviously that's a large part of the role of our facilitators, ensuring that you're placing your hands in the correct way, making sure that you're using the correct um, phrases to help the patient understand what's going on. You know, even simple things like getting appropriate consent, we are there to help facilitate that for you. However, when it's gone dark outside and everybody's gone home and you're doing independent learning, sometimes that can become a challenge, particularly when we have unknown unknowns. If you make a mistake when you're revising, you won't necessarily know that you've made that mistake. My hope is that systems like this, Black Frame AI, will be able to help bridge that gap between the education that we provide when the sun is up and the revision that you do after hours. So with that in mind, let's have a look at the tech and see how you can use this model that we've got set up here. So we want to make sure that the system is engaged and we've got the explanation about what is set up with regard to the three cameras, but crucially the impact of the microphone and the fact that award, uh, the recording is stored anonymously. At this time there is no login system, um, so any information that you do put into the system, yes, is held, but it is not held anonymously. So. Um, if you were to use the system, please make sure you don't use your real name because obviously it's going to be stored in the cloud for processing. Hello, my name is Dr. Gill and I've been asked to do a breast examination on yourself. Before we start, could we please confirm your name and date of birth? Obviously the system can't give me a verbal response at the moment. Super, so in terms of doing the examination, um, we're going to um, get you to sit on the bed, uh, we're going to get you to take your um, upper um, clothes off, and we're going to uh, visually assess your breasts. Then we're going to get you to do some movements, again visually assessing the breasts, before we have you lie down on the bed, and I'm going to put my hands on your chest to examine your breasts. So are you happy to proceed with that? Again, the patient can't respond. Um, before we start, I'm going to go get uh, one of the chaperones and they're going to sit in the corner here. And that's both for your and my safety. Are you happy to proceed here? Super. So if I can get you to sit up and put your hands on your hips. Great. And we're just having a look at the lie of the breasts. Can we see any abnormal dimples? Can we see any asymmetry? Looking over the nipples, what can we see with regard to indrawing, any bleeding, evidence of podo orange, and any obvious um, lumps and things that shouldn't be there. Can we see any evidence of prior surgery scars? With your hands on your hips, if you can now just press down for me, and that's going to contract the muscles of the chest, and we're seeing if that changes the appearance, whether or not any dimples become more visible. And if I can get you to put your hands up over your head, please. Again, we're once again changing the lie of the breast, and again, having a look to make sure we can't see any problems. With that in mind, I'm going to get you to lie down on the bed, Okay. And if, um, if you could put your left hand up behind your head, please. So I'm going to now put my hands on your chest, so uh, gelling my hands. Um, I'm going to put my hands on your breasts. Are you happy for me to proceed? Super. So I'm going to move down from the tail of sprints, staying in a line, and I can feel a small lump there, which we'll come back to. Okay. And carry on, pressing directly over the nipple, making sure there's no signs of discharge carry on to the centre and making sure I've gone all the way up to the sternum. Just checking with two hands on the outside and over the middle area I'm checking for this lump. It is rough, um, it is fixed in place, it is, in, um, it is quite firm, there's no fluctuance to it. And then we go to the same on the opposite side, so if I can get you to relax this arm down and put your other arm up, super. Again, starting off from the top, coming down, checking along, does the breast tissue feel the same throughout? Again, pressing over the nipple, making sure there's no lumps there. 
and looking for any signs of pain or discomfort as we're doing, making sure we're pressing over the tail of Spence and then across. Super. So we haven't found any abnormalities on um, that examination of the breast, but now we need to have a look at the armpits, the axilla. So I'm going to get you to sit up and I'm going to get you to take, um, just relax uh, your one arm and I'm going to push up into the axilla here. So this can obviously, I sometimes feel uncomfortable, particularly when I press on the humerus there. And we've got no issues on that side, no lumps and bumps. And we're going to do the same again on this side, checking for any lumps and bumps. That's fine. And I'm just going to press along the top of the clavicle and underneath, and then checking for lymph nodes with regard to the head and neck. So if, if you'd like to put your clothes back on, um, with the regard to the examination, we haven't found any abnormalities on the uh, right side. However, on the left side, we do have a discrete mass. It's firm, it's non-fluctuant, um, it's rough in nature, it's very much fixed in location, and this is definitely something that we need to look at further. Do you have any questions for myself? Super, thank you very much. So I've got the QR code on the screen now. Um, I'm going to scan that in a moment. And appreciate that there is going to be a slight delay as the footage from um, the three cameras and the microphones goes up to the cloud. The AI, for want of a better phrase, will listen to um, my consultation and also observe what's gone on and then it's going to provide me with feedback and honestly this is the bit that I think is fantastic and is going to really help yourselves to gain that extra confidence with regard to clinical skills when we're not in the building to help you. So let's see what those results are now. So here's the feedback from the screen. We've got to introduce self, explain role, wash hands, although I, I did highlight that. Um, confirm name, date of birth, did explain the examination position, ask about pain, fair point. Um, inspect arms side by side. So I've had the patient um, sit there before they push onto the hip, so similar thing. Arms above the head, which we did, although not leaning forward. Okay, um, palpate the breast systematically, axillary tail area lid complex. Didn't elevate um, for hidden pathology, which is fine. We did cover the lymph nodes, particularly the infraclavicular, uh, although not the parasternal lymph nodes. Um, and again, as we've mentioned, we did wash hands. So ultimately, it's not a perfect um, uh, score there, but I think it's reasonable to start off with. Now, you can also get a straightforward transcript of this. Um, which gives you um, more open language, but I think it's very important to see those details. And this personally is where I find the biggest uh, improvement here. You can actually click into um, where it's giving you the mark and also you can, although it's not loading at the moment, see the video that correlates with that. But it's interesting that you can see the whole transcript of what you've said. So that's the black frame AI. You've seen the outcome of my um, effort just. Um, please come give these a go. Um, switch it on, hit start, and do the breast examination, and we'll see what your feedback is. Um, hopefully you'll find this a useful tool. Um, yeah, take care under any issues. You know where to find me.